there's two kinds of injectors. This is a mechanical injector. There's also an electronic injector. These were used for the first century of the internal combustion engine. And after the, about 2000, they all went to uh, electronic injectors. So basically, um, this is a serviceable injector. You can replace the tips. There's two parts to it. Uh, very simply, uh, the tip is at the bottom. If it gets damaged at all, you have to replace it. Uh, inside here is a giant spring that pushes on the injector tip with a couple thou clearance for fuel to run around the outside body on here. So as the injection pump um, applies pressure to the, the fuel. The fuel will leak to the side of the injector tip and then push against the spring and seat, uh, unseat the tip from the body. And then as it does, it will spray the fuel out. And because that pressure is gone, the spring will seat it again uh, almost instantly. So what we want to check is for a nice spray pattern and to make sure that it doesn't leak or drip, um, which is very undesirable. These, uh, like I said, you can replace the tips, are serviceable and are reasonably cheap. Now this tester, I just got this tester, been wanting one for a while, found it on Kijiji. The only issue is I only got one injector test line, so I have to run to the wreckers and grab some uh, junk injector lines off of some bad engines. All my lines are good. So to get above that, <laughs> I just had to take my lines off of my uh, Cummins here. Um, very simple, just put it on the machine, tighten it up. We'd want to spray this into a bucket where we can uh, where we can see the spray pattern, but we're not breathing in the the fuel. So all this tester is a me is a mechanical pump. Um, it takes fuel from the back, pressurizes it to uh, up to let's say 5,000 psi, and will unseat the injector tip. So this is just clean diesel fuel with going through a filter with a little bit of ATF added to it just to lubricate it. And what we want to do is lean on the handle and check for a single pop, check the spray pattern, crank on it really hard and see the spray pattern and make sure that it, you get a nice steady sound of it popping. And then uh, stop just shy of the popping pressure and check for leak down. So a single pop would look something like this. And we want to make sure that there's an even spray pattern all the way around, not one longer than the other, not one missing or clogged. And then we want to lean on the handle quickly and, and get a series of pops. And that looks great. And now we want to stop just shy. This tester's got a valve on it, just close the valve. As I'm closing the valve, I'm increasing the pressure on it, tighten it up, let it sit, um, dry it off after the spray, and make sure that there's no leaks coming out there anywhere. So if it's holding pressure, it means that it's not leaking anywhere and we're safe to put this back into the engine. And that's all there is to it. The electric injector will work exactly the same. The test procedure is a little different. Um, you need more sophisticated and expensive equipment and uh, uh, something like the Bosch tester, which we use to test our Duramax injectors. They don't even want you seeing what the machine's actually doing. This will pop at about, uh, this one popped at about 3,300 PSI. Um, an electronic injector can go up to 28,000 PSI. So there's a big difference. And that's all there is to it. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a tape boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.